Back with another one. I'm gonna knock out some chest, another early morning workout. 3.30 was the wake up call. We're in the gym, five o'clock. Today's theme, today's topic, what we're talking about as we get through this workout is urgency. And why you need to operate with a sense of urgency. If anyone has watched these videos, you know me in person, you know I'm ready to go right now. I don't wanna wait. Let's get to it. Yes, we can create the plan, but if I can see step one and two, I'm ready to go right now. And I wanna get more into that as we get through this workout, why a sense of urgency is necessary, why I operate with such a sense of urgency, why you cannot be laxed. You cannot operate with a, I'll get to it tomorrow mentality. That is just a slow burn. You, that becomes a habit and that's how you start operating in everything that you do. I'm a firm believer, do not wait. I'm a firm believer, do not let external factors, don't let fear, I can go on and on, slow you, stop you, feel that you have to wait to get started. There's nobody controlling you. So we'll get more into it. Let's knock out these warm up sets and get to it. So I've missed opportunities because I second guessed. I've missed opportunities because I tried to appease somebody else, other people. I missed so many opportunities doing what somebody else wanted to do and not thinking, okay, I have to make sure, is this gonna get me to where I need to be? Is this gonna make me a better person? If I can be a better person, then I can provide better energy, I can provide that to the world. I've missed so much. I've seen life be here one day and it's gone the next. So that's just a few small examples of why now everything is on high alert. Let's go. I don't want to wait. And I hold that accountability to myself. I hold that accountability to others. If you say, hey, you wanna do X, and you come to me and say, you wanna do X, then all right. Then it starts that very moment that you commit. That very moment that we shake hands, we say deal, we say, all right, let's get it. It's on. Because I know what it feels like. I know what happens when you don't follow through. When you figure out or create all these scenarios of why it might not work, why you don't belong. So I say all that to say, <laughs> good, how, how's everything? Doing good. Good, good. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. Good, good, yes sir. So I, I, I operate with urgency, okay? Time, and I'm using all of these examples because I've been through it. This is not something, I'm not reading off the brochure because I hate that. I hate when somebody gives me advice and they haven't been through it. They haven't won the t-shirt. They're just reading off of a pamphlet. Do not think, okay, I'll put it off till tomorrow. Guys, this idea of time, and this is for 
young, old, middle, whatever, doesn't matter. This idea of time and you think that you have all the time in the world that you can afford to or have the luxury of putting things off and saying, I'll get to it, oh, I'm not ready yet. You, we don't have the luxury for that. You do not have the luxury of that. Take it from someone who has been through it, worn the t-shirt multiple times, been through these situations, talking from experience, not just reading off of a brochure. You don't know what is going to, I know that sounds very cliche, you don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow. You don't know what phone call you're gonna get that's gonna change the trajectory of your life. You don't know the type of phone call that you're gonna get and realize like, oh, from this, fo this point moving forward, everything is different. You keep putting that thing off over and over again. And before you know it, it's been five years. Before you know it, it's been 10 years. And you wonder what happened. I tell you what happened. You thought you can get away with comfort. You thought you could get away with coasting. And then you snapped out of it and realized, whoa, time is gone. Or you get a phone call. And they say that your mother is gonna, only has a few months. You get another phone call back to back that says, no, it's actually a few weeks. You see a friend one, one month, a couple months go by. You see their brother and ask them what happened. Oh, he's no longer here. You have to, that's why urgency, that's why moving with a sense of purpose, right? That's another thing, moving with a sense of purpose. That no, 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 every action, every step that you are doing, it's to that goal. It's to that action, it's to that higher self, it's to that higher power. That's also letting the universe know you're grateful and you're taking the, the benefits and you're taking these tools that you've been blessed with and making something out of it. Come on guys, urgency, let's not wait for it. Let's take control. Make sure you're doing your dips, everybody. Make sure you're doing bodyweight exercises. You should be able to do pull-ups, do push-ups. You should be able to just hang. That's something that, if you want a quick challenge, how long can you guys just hang on a bar? No pull-ups or nothing, just a, a dead hang. Yes, you want to be strong, be able to push around all this weight, absolutely. But if you cannot do a bodyweight exercise, if you can do pull-ups and you got to get that together. That means it's a lot of muscle that's not functional. who have seen the video and say they want to start getting up early. All right, well, when? How about now? It should have been yesterday. If you came across this video, if you came across any of these videos and you felt compelled to do something different, you felt compelled to do something better, you needed to change things up, you realize where you're lacking certain areas, that marks day one right there and you don't want to regress, you only move forward. Oh. 
All right, that is a wrap. I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to eat real quick. But another workout done. Like I said, it's repetition. Just putting in the work, nothing special. The specialty is the consistency. The specialty is the discipline. Going to the gym is one thing. Getting up is one thing. But what are you doing when you get up? When you What are you doing when you get to the gym? What is the mindset when you're doing your actions? Are you just going through the motions or are you truly putting in the energy that can help propel you. So always think about that. But anyway, this is what's going on. Uh, so was it six eggs, jasmine rice, nothing glamorous, some hot sauce. And uh, yeah, so getting ready to actually start leaning out and start dieting down, start cutting. I've been bulking up for quite a few months. I wanted to actually bulk up more uh take actually about anywhere from two more months but some things have come up going to the new year that i have to start actually leaning out so slowly scaling back the calories slowly scaling back the food a bit not rushing into it that was actually the problem when i first started to focus on you know getting lean and try to diet down i would just pretty much just starve myself and definitely definitely i messed up my metabolism messed up a lot of my hormones because I would just do these crash diets. So now I'm taking more of a methodical approach behind it. So scaling it back, you know, keeping a count of the macros, what's working, what's not working, and we're to keep this thing moving. So more videos on the way. If you like this video, guys, you know, hit a like, hit the like button, show some support, hit the comments, and let me know what you guys are doing to get yourselves to the next level. How are you optimizing yourself to be that? better person? What is the vision that you have of the person that you want to be? So more videos on the way. Let's get it.